What happens when you drop a $3 million hypercar engine into a 35,000-pound semi-truck? Sounds insane, right? But let's push it even further. What if that truck, the Peterbilt 579, could actually hit 420 kilometers per hour? That's 261 miles per hour, the same top speed as a Bugatti Chiron. Would it fly? Would it explode? Would it tear up the highway like a missile on wheels? Today, we're diving headfirst into one of the most extreme automotive what-ifs on the Internet. What would really happen if you swapped a Bugatti Chiron's W16 quad turbo engine into a Peterbilt 579? Stick around, because by the end of this video, we'll simulate what happens at top speed and why it might be the most ridiculous thing you could do to a semi-truck. The Bugatti Chiron is powered by an 8.0-liter W16 engine, producing 1,600 horsepower and a mind-melting 1,600 newton-meters of torque. It can go from 0 to 60 in 2.3 seconds and reach 261 miles per hour, or 420 kilometers per hour. Thanks to aerodynamics refined like a fighter jet and materials borrowed from aerospace tech. Now contrast that with the Peterbilt 579, a long haul semi designed for comfort, durability, and torque, not land speed records. It weighs around 35,000 pounds, has a diesel engine with maybe 500 to 600 horsepower, and tops out around 75 miles per hour on a good day. So what happens if you bolt the Bugatti's engine into the Peterbilt? The first problem? Weight. The Bugatti's engine is meant for a car that weighs just over 4,000 pounds. The Peterbilt is nearly nine times heavier. That's like trying to race a bulldozer with the heart of a jet. Even if the W16 could theoretically propel the truck, the power-to-weight ratio would drop dramatically. The Quran has about one horsepower per 2.75 pounds. The Peterbilt with the same engine? Closer to one horsepower per 22 pounds. But what if we still tried to hit 420 kilometers per hour? Let's break it down. At that speed, the aerodynamic drag on the Peterbilt would skyrocket. Semi trucks are designed to cut through air at 60 to 70 miles per hour, not triple digit speeds. The frontal surface area and boxy design would fight the engine with every inch of progress. You'd need to redesign the entire body, lower the suspension, reinforce the frame, and add extreme downforce just to keep the thing from lifting off like a jet wing. Oh, and let's not forget tires. There are no commercial truck tires rated for 261 miles per hour. They'd shred apart within seconds. You'd need custom-made racing slicks the size of hot tubs just to keep it planted. The Bugatti Chiron burns 100 liters of fuel in just 18 minutes when driving at top speed. That's only about 128 kilometers of range. Now slap that engine into a Peterbilt, which weighs way more and has far worse aerodynamics. And that fuel would vanish in under 15 minutes, maybe even less. You'd be stopping for gas every 30 miles. Imagine being passed by a Prius while you're fueling up for the fifth time that hour. Talk about humiliating. And then comes the heat. The Bugatti has 10 radiators, yes 10, just to keep that beast from melting itself at speed. Drop it into a semi that wasn't built for this kind of thermal output, and you'll overheat before you even reach freeway speeds. Your cab would turn into a sauna. You'd be sweating horsepower. So. Is it possible? Can a Peterbilt 579 with the heart of a Bugatti Chiron actually hit 420 kilometers per hour? Technically, maybe. But you'd have to reinvent the truck from the ground up, from the aerodynamics to the driveline to the fuel system. It would no longer be a Peterbilt. It would be a Frankenstein super truck wearing a disguise. But guess what? There are builders out there crazy enough to try. With custom fabrication, active aero, reinforced frames, multi-stage turbo cooling, and track-ready tires, 
it could happen. And in our next video, we'll go step by step through how someone could theoretically build the world's first Bugatti powered semi capable of supercar speeds. Would it survive the stress test? Could it outpace a sports car in a straight line? Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on because this is just the beginning. If you had the keys to a 1,600 horsepower Bugatti engine, would you really waste it on a semi? Or would you go full mad scientist and build something no one's ever seen before? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you're into wild builds, real engineering breakdowns, and what if performance fantasies, hit that like button and buckle up. Because next time, we'll push the limits even further.